that has been experienced in the country in the last five years has dried up key water sources, posing a threat to both animals and mankind. As the world marked World Water Day, the majority of Kenyans cannot therefore access constant clean water in their homes. Emily Chabet reports on the crisis facing Kenya and the world at large if nothing is done to save the precious commodity that has no alternative. Few years ago, water was in plenty. Rivers, dams, lakes and oceans were overflowing with the only commodity that has no substitute. But its importance in the lives of human beings were overlooked. At the moment in Kenya and across the region, there is a looming water crisis, all thanks to factors both human and natural, including the four consecutive failed rainy seasons. 2023 World Water Day comes a day when there is little or nothing to celebrate. Dry taps and water rationing has become the order of the day in major towns in the country. What appears Dr. Paul Rono, who marked the day in Samburu County, says the country is under water stress. When we talk about water scarce, we are talking about a depleting resource, a resource which is under stress, a resource which every year, within five years, it dropped from 647 per cap, uh, cubic meters per capita to 450. You only need four lapses and we are on zero. While marking the day in Moranga County, leaders have called for joint effort in conservation of the environment. This is Lekol Bolosat in 2021. Fast forward to March 2023. The lake has turned dry and dusty, with little hope of recharging following the weatherman's report of minimal rain expected this year. It is a situation that is replicated in almost all the 47 counties. Since we are here, 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 we are Muto na kauka. So tumefanya hivo. Tumeenda hivo hivo, tumepanda hii miti ya yukaliptu ya samanera. Ime, iu muto, iu muti, kwa siku moja, inakunywa maji tangi mo, ii drum moja ya 200 liters. Ndiyo inamesa kwa siku. So imefanya mito yetu imekauka. While commissioning Gaga and Emanyinya water projects to celebrate the day, Governor Otichilo urged Kenyans to embrace President William Ruto's call on the 15 billion tree planting exercise in order to restore water catchment areas. <laughs> Emily Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.